Hey guys, my name is Jonathan and I'm from Singapore. I'm currently a senior here in Yonsei University under the Korean Government Scholarship Program. You might be wondering what the Korean Government Scholarship Program or KGSP in short might be. I'm going to be doing sort of like a three-part series just to um, explain to you what this scholarship program is all about. I'm going to be talking about the different documents that you require, the uh, processes that you need to go through, and finally coming into Korea, what you need to look out for. First and foremost, I would like to tell you that Korean government's uh, scholarship program is a five-year degree program for undergraduate students or a three-year program for people <clears throat> in the graduate studies, which is the master's or PhD, right? Um, the NIED, the National Institute for, for International Education, they would assign you to a language institute where you will be there for a year and thereafter you'd spend four years in a, in a Korean university getting your undergraduate degree. Or for the master's program, you would spend a total of uh, uh, three years, right, for your master's. What makes this a little bit different is that for the under, undergraduate studies, you'd actually start in the spring semester, which is in around March and the graduate studies would actually start in the month of September, which is in the fall. Now you might be interested in studying in Korea, you know, and getting um, five years worth of education for free, and on top of that, there's no bonds, which means you can go anywhere you want after that, maybe be in another country, back to your own country, or even staying in Korea. You can choose where to wherever you want to work, and you don't have any type of burdens that would actually keep. If you're planning to apply for the scholarship, usually the announcements and the documents will start coming out about five months in advance so usually if you're uh, planning to go for the one in spring semester in March it would usually come out around say October so it's about four to five months in advance and if you were to be planning to go for the masters which is in um, September the, the documents usually would come out say around February March around there so the first thing you need to do is to get the PDF file, right? And uh, you can get it from the website studyingkorea.go.kr And I'll put the links in the description so that you can actually um, find it easily, right? The very first thing that you need to make sure of is that your country is on the eligible countries list. So um, on the very first page of the uh, Korean Government Scholarship Program PDF, they actually show you the number of scholarships that are available and the amount of uh, places that they have for each different country. The first thing you need to do is to go and see your country's list and to see if there is a position open for your country. I mean, if there's no position open, then there's actually no need for you to um, be applying for this at all, right? Another thing you need to do is to research on the universities and the type of uh, courses that you wish to apply for. As you guys might know from the different Korean dramas that you might have watched. The top three universities are S, K, and Y, which is Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University. I myself am from Yonsei University, and I believe that this is a, a really great school. So in, in the second page, it's where um, it shows you all the different universities that are part of this entire Korean government scholarship program, and who will ac accept um, scholarship students under this scholarship. Also in the second page, you would actually see the different qualifications. Always make sure that you, as a person, are qualified for every single um, criteria and you actually pass every single criteria. And thereafter, you also get to see um, the different scholarship benefits that um, will be provided to you through this KGSP program. I would like to say that KGSP has actually made a really big impact in my life in terms of financial benefits because having tertiary to higher education in a university being fully paid for on top of that a monthly stipend which is sort of like an allowance let me go on to the different benefits that this scholarship um, provides to you right you get your airfare provided from your country to korea as well as the final airfare from korea back to your country when you finish the entire program on top of that they give you and a monthly allowance of 800,000 Korean won every single month for five whole years. And on top of that, the moment you arrive, they give you an extra 200,000 Korean won to settle in, which is which means that if you need to buy um, your bed sheets, your blankets, your pillows, um, your toiletries, and things like that that you wouldn't have brought from your own country. Medical insurance also is provided. For the first year during your language course, you will be getting the total of um, 800,000 Korean won for the whole year. 
But the moment you finish your, your language university and, you, and um, when you move on to your university, if you have a topic level of 5 and above, they would actually give you an extra 100,000 Korean won on top of the 800,000 to make a grand total of 900,000 for the rest of your four years here. Which means if you are able to get topic level 5 or level 6 for that, you will be getting 900,000 every month. Your Korean proficiency um, level ranges from topic level 1 all the way to topic level 6. 1 and 2 being beginner, 3 and 4 being intermediate, and 5 and 6 being advanced. Now, if you were not able to um, get a topic level of 3 after you finish the first year, you would, you would actually be required to stay another 6 months to finish your language studies to be able to get a level 3 before you go to your university. The Korean government scholarship program was basically started by the uh, Korean government to provide students in other countries to, to give them a chance, an opportunity to pursue higher education within Korea as a means to promote uh, international exchange between different countries and also to um, strengthen mutual friendship between Korea and the neighbouring countries around. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Um, this was an introduction of what the Korean Government Scholarship Program was all about. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode where I'll be talking about all the different um, documents required which you will need to prepare and submit in order to apply for this Korean Government Scholarship Program. See you in the next one.